We're like 50th in the world at education. Could we focus on that for a second? The average school kid thinks two plus two equals jello. Like, I'm concerned. <laughs> but on a superficial level, think of what this does to music. Nobody wants to listen to Motley Crue sing smoking in the them's room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but how awkward is that, though? Old bathroom things like for a good time call, and you're like, oh, wow, she's already here. This is so weird. <laughs> oh, man. What, what are the odds? Well, where, where is Glenn Youngkin? Because I thought he was pretty outspoken. Word any executive says over a Tranheiser Bush, okay? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Number one. Number two. By the way, they're down like five billion. You oh, it's great. Down it's 10 great. Billion. It's great. But two points of contention. Because why did they do this? They were marking Dylan Mulvaney's one year anniversary as a woman. Hey, Bud Light, you just gave beer to a one year old girl. Way to go. <laughs> No, but here's the thing, and this is the point I want to make. By the way, they, we, we are so dead You're today. damn right we are, Hannity. The we're going to get it. They're going like to be waiting for us right out the door, yeah. but stick with me. They said they were doing this to be more inclusive. Beer is the most inclusive thing in the world. It brings people together. 60% of the people on this earth wouldn't be born if two people didn't have beer before it happened. <laughs> so you think about that. It is as inclusive as you can get. <laughs> That's pretty inclusive. All right, so we'll say is it's a changing world. When I was younger and you went to a bar and they gave you beer and nuts, it meant something else. <laughs>